Hello and welcome to the last Have I Got News For You news for you. Yes, this is your favourite topical satire show's final webisode. Now come on. Hey, 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 come on. Be strong. Be strong. We've had some good times. We've, we've laughed once or twice. We've cried quite a lot. But now we are dropping the whole idea quicker than Chaz dropped... Um, Chaz dropped... Um, yeah, well, the other one. Actually, it's a surprise I made it in at all this week. I'm still getting a bit rough after that wild party I went to at the weekend. Everyone was there. It was, uh, it was over at Roman Polanski's place. <laughs> we ended up playing practical jokes on each other. Roman squirted me with one of those trick flowers. He's got me right in the eye. <laughs> it's brilliant. I can't quite remember what I did back to him, but oh, God, we had a, we had a great time. What a laugh. Anyway, in the news this week, in the Dorking branch of Tesco, an internet order comes through from Eamon Holmes. <laughs> on the BBC Breakfast News, there's an embarrassing moment during a feature on whether a man's tie is a penis substitute. <laughs> and at the Labour Party conference, Ed Miliband dispatches a full toss from Harriet Harman over the boundary rope for four. <laughs> Now it's time for the main attraction. If the webisode were, say, take that, then this next bit would be the Robbie. Yes, that's right, it's the odd one out. And your four are Gordon Brown, Barack Obama, Gordon Ramsay, and John Reed. Feel free to take a moment to work it out. Pause it if you like. The pause button is just like Gordon Brown in the opinion polls. Over to the left and at the bottom. Off you go, and don't mind me, I've got, uh, I've got plenty to be getting on with. <laughs> Armstrong, CV, Sydney, Curriculum Vitae, Vitae, Curriculum Vitae, oh, sorry, plenty of time to finish that later. Um, so how do you get on? The odd one out is John Reed, because all the others have been asked offensive questions, whereas he made an offensive suggestion. John Reed is alleged to have told Treasury Minister Dawn Primarolo at a bar in the Commons, I want to have sex with you. You want it too. Not the first time a Labour politician has completely misjudged his audience. On his BBC One Sunday morning politics show, BBC journalist Andrew Marr asked the Prime Minister about his health. Marr specifically asked Gordon Brown whether he was using prescription painkillers and pills. Brown's not the first party leader to be rumoured to have a problem with pills. Charles Kennedy always used to keep a dozen bottles of it chilling in his fridge. Standing up to critics who'd called for his resignation, Gordon Brown told the Labour Party conference, I do not roll over. And he doesn't, not since they started prescribing him those pills to improve his balance. A right-wing US website, Free Republic, seems to have suggested that they would like to see Barack Obama's penis to prove that he's eligible to be president. If the right-wingers are insisting that somebody has to carry out a detailed examination of the presidential penis, it'll be nice for Monica Lewinsky to get her old job back. Gordon Ramsay was angered during an interview on BBC Breakfast after interviewer Bill Turnbull asked him if he still cooked in any of his restaurants, to which Ramsay replied, Yeah, of course I cook. How else would I maintain that standard? Yeah, the standard that has seen four of Gordon's restaurants be placed in one leading food guide's list of the ten most disappointing restaurants in Britain. Yeah, good work, Gordon. In series three of The F Word, Gordon and foodie friend Janet Street Porter controversially attempted to serve horse steaks at Cheltenham Racecourse. Being involved in the butchering of horses can be quite dangerous, especially if you happen to look like Janet Street Porter. And I leave you with news that, after the ageism row at the BBC, Arlene Phillips celebrates being welcomed back as a judge on Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> Amid concerns about safety on Trafalgar Square's fourth plinth, a passerby captures the moment Anthony Gormley stands under it to prove it's safe. <laughs> And in New Quay, Cornwall, there's evidence that surfing in polluted water can seriously affect your sinuses. <laughs> As a final goodbye, we thought it'd be nice to leave you with some of those hilarious moments from webisodes past where things didn't quite go as planned. Here are some of our favourite bloopers from the crazy world of the webisode. Oh, um, thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget, the new series is back on BBC One on Friday the 16th of October. And watch out for more online hijinks during the run. Goodbye. <laughs>